So in this video, I'm going to explain what you need to know about the enterovirus. And specifically, I'm going to talk about the enterovirus 68, which is currently spreading in the U.S. And so this enterovirus causes respiratory illness. And so as a result, it probably shouldn't come as a surprise that it can be spread through respiratory secretions. For example, saliva, sputum, nasal mucus. And so it essentially can be spread from person to person when an infected person coughs or sneezes. And so essentially the virus is in saliva. And so when a person coughs or sneezes, it can be spread. And another thing is, this is a virus. So the symptoms are caused by a virus. And as of now, there is no vaccine or antiviral medications that can essentially prevent this. So therefore, the best treatment for now is just supportive treatment. So the main thing that is being done to children who need it is they are given oxygen, which will help essentially help them breathe better. In addition, they may get medicines such as albuterol, which will help open the passages of their lungs to help them breathe better. And so in general, it's infants, children, and teenagers that are more likely to get infected with the enterovirus. In addition, children with asthma may have a higher risk for respiratory illnesses such as the enterovirus. And so some common symptoms that the enterovirus will cause are fevers, runny noses, coughing, wheezing, and difficulty breathing. And so at first, it's going to essentially look like a common cold. So the initial symptoms are similar to the common cold. But however, if the person doesn't get better and the disease progresses, you can get some serious symptoms such as pneumonia, reduction in urine production, and even respiratory failure. And probably the worst symptom is paralysis. And so it's pretty important to know that the virus can live on surfaces for hours to even a day. But the good thing is common disinfectants will kill the virus. And so probably the best way to protect yourself and others from getting this illness is to wash your hands with soap and water often, essentially just the same as avoiding colds. So also avoiding sharing utensils with people that are sick. And finally, try to avoid touching your eyes, nose, or mouth if you did not wash your hands.